first tonight, a spike in crime across West Lynn has neighbors nervous following three brazen break-ins over the weekend. This is Coin 6 News at 4 o'clock. I'm Jennifer Hoff. And I'm Dan Tilkin. Police say these three cases are not related, but it's a reminder to take precautions. Our Amy Frazier is live in West Lynn with more in this crime alert. Dan, this is one of the homes where a suspect tried to break in. Luckily, it's for sale, so no one lives here. In two other cases, there was someone home. The latest case happened Sunday morning around 5.30 a.m. Police say a woman living in a gated community in the area of Cascade Terrace woke up to a man in her bedroom. He ran away, or told the woman's husband, tried to find the man, and then called police. Officers were unable to locate the suspect. He's believed to be in his 20s or 30s. He was wearing a hoodie and a light colored jacket. Investigators say the suspect got into the house through an unlocked door. This happens from time to time. Uh, we'll get people that will say, oh, you know, I thought we were safe here. Well, you are safe, but you've got to take some protections as well. You've got to lock those front doors. You've got to lock the windows and you've got to make sure that your home is secure so that you don't give people uh, like the suspect that uh, got into that house the opportunity to do so. Officers were also called to attempted break-ins on Friday. At about 3.30 Friday afternoon, a neighbor on Clark Street called 911 after seeing a man break a window at that house that's for sale. Officers tracked down and arrested the suspect, Kevin Hupel. Then Friday evening, police say a man arguing with his girlfriend broke into five unlocked cars and then smashed out a window at a home on Cottonwood Court where he thought no one was home. The homeowner was there and called police. Officers arrested suspect James O'Neill. Back here live, if you see something suspicious in your neighborhood, police say don't hesitate to call police. Reporting live in West Lynn, Amy Frazier, Coin 6 News. Always good advice. Thanks, Amy.